The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Or rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. And continuing from the previous tape, the responsibility of a believer to know the polytheism of privileges. His ignorance to know is none other but the failure on his part. So that the believer who has been failed to know the truth is no longer the pleading of ignorance at the judgment seat of Christ. The scroll blessings for time as well as for eternity. The reality of our walk in this small gap period in this earth. To make us to realize that we are not the citizens of this earth, but our citizenship being in heaven demands the holiness that we have to go walk into the day-by-day -day walk of the spiritual realm. Furthermore, the process which have to go through the daily edification of the soul which teach us the reality that heaven always comes first not the earth we are the citizens of heaven we are the first citizens of heaven and indeed we are the last citizens of heaven and citizens of heaven all the while. But only for a small time, earth comes in only by the way. And it has no last and deepening rights upon them. This deepening rights of earth or the lasting rights of the earth is of an utter rejection by the people to note this truth. Since there is constantly a denial of the unique spiritual life, a constantly a denial of the truth of the reality, what we have to walk, a walk of spirituality in contrast to the carnal, we need to be much aware of the false teachers who come mixed up with a double mind, staring both between, or striving to escape the persecution and yet desiring to obtain the reputation of Christians, being very dangerous tempters, entering the church in disguise, defiling it, and destroying your soul wherewith you have been designed to reach for maximum glorification of Christ, is of an ultima of failure in this church age. The only reality wherewith you and I have to come back and look is the reality of the failure of Bible doctrine. The greater the failure in this life that they have been not capable of understanding, the greater the failure of this life they have been not understanding the truth, is of a greater failure in this church age. Dear brethren, Apostle Paul chooses a most appropriate figure. The letter of St. Paul to the Philippian Christians was written to the inhabitants of a Roman colony, the inhabitants of a free city, such as Philippi was. Its inhabitants would therefore fully understand the figure of the Apostle when he called upon them to remember their high positions as citizens, not of a mere mundane sovereignty, but of a heavenly kingdom. Our citizenship being in the heaven was of a Roman citizen, a free man. So were they. They had been made free from sin. And even we are becoming the servants of God. And our citizenship being in heaven, we need to note the truth of reality. They were therefore to stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free. And to stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ has set us free, we need to go through the process of training. The training process where sometimes we need to note why the Roman Catholics have been failures. They might have not been a process of time to give number one priority for the training towards the word of the Lord. 
rather they went to those things which they have thought it could be compromising the doctrine with the cheapest substitutes of all time substitutes of good works substitutes of nonsense and that substitutes of nonsense what they have been doing around in this church age has really caused the people not to know the reality of the truth. This substitutes of the nonsense which has been reigning ample to the core, including the baptisms that they have to take to be saved, is of a real great failure in their life. A real great failure which leads them to go astray apart from the word of the Lord which leads them to the astray of those trends which the Bible has been tolling for them long back to look and to consider and walk a holy walk. And it's a great failure on their part that these men who have come, have come to be the traitors, but not the loyalists for Jehovah. That's why it's always pathetic for us to note the great figure that we have been not redeemed with corruptible things of silver and gold, but we have been redeemed with the precious blood of Christ. And they want to still, still include the nonsense of redemption through their good deeds, as such the religion works out in the dogma of religion. And why it has been gone through into astray? Because they have not been given number one priority for the word. Why it has been gone through in such kind of a hard process? Because they have not known the reality of Bible doctrine. And this is a great failure on our part, dear brethren, that we are not capable of understanding it. That Lord calls us to stand as a maximum glorified Christ believer in earth, though we are in this temporary lifetime on this earth. Our bellies are not satisfied with the menial food which Lord gives to us to be holy with Him, to walk a holy walk with Him. But our bellies want the fat to be exiting out from our stomach. And that big size stomach fat, what you can look, will show forth that you are not really doing God's work. The contrary of the reason why I am telling, telling is this, because this man have really lost the truth of Bible doctrine as number one priority. They have rejected the doctrine, concentrated upon the lust patterns of the sin nature to be fulfilled. The greater the lust patterns of the sin nature to be fulfilled, greater they have gone to those substitutory of cheap reals, which can never be given as number one priority. We have not been redeemed with corruptible things. If you have been redeemed with the corruptible things, you have to follow the corruptible procedures. But we aren't. We are not. With the incorruptible things, and we need to be trained up with the incorruptible nature of Jehovah. And this is what it has been, an absolute failure in the church age. A great failure of the church age, wherewith they have been able to concentrate upon Bible doctrine, which have to be number one priority for Bible doctrine. The greater our failure to note, the greater our failure in this church age. Dear brethren, the time is too short, the work is too large. And we need to be number one priority all the time to this life, to the life of incorruptible, imperishable crown, not to the life of this corruptible and perishable crown. I ponder over these things as we are going to continue in the next day. Father, I am grateful for the privilege that thou hast given to fellowship with thee through thy word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, will enlighten us in these things and cause us to look upon those things wherewith we need not spend upon the famine of this apostasy, but rather look upon the truth of the reality of Bible doctrine. To this extent, we pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, will enlighten us, for we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.